Hi. <laughs> it's obviously somebody out there. We can't see a thing, but we hear voices. We can hear you breathing out there. <laughs> you ready? All right, All right so uh, we've got the World of Warcraft Cataclysm panel here, and uh, I've got a couple of buddies right here with me. Um, I'm Tom Chilton. I'm game director for World of Warcraft. And I've got Chris Madsen, as you must know from moments ago. He's our vice president of creative development. and. Uh, the man who, uh, between he and Alex Afraziabi, our lead world de designers, he, uh, you know, the two of these guys really are the ones that set the stage for all the lore. They're the ones that make the, the storyline happen. They're the ones that bring this world to life. So I've got Corey Stockton. He's our lead world designer. And he's the man behind the, the zones and kind of driving that direction. Um, all the interior, exterior, all that kind of good stuff, the content in the game. So, uh, Chris, you want to kick it off? Uh, sure. Uh, so you guys may have heard the new expansion set is Cataclysm. <laughs> Thank you for your enthusiasm. It's very cool. Uh, you know, uh, something that happened with uh, Wrath of the Lich King is that uh, with the inclusion of, well, the Lich King, it just felt really good to have that expansion so focused on a primary villain, you know, where we learned from the Burning Crusade that uh, Illidan was a, a pretty kick-ass bad guy, um, but we didn't, we didn't put him in your path as much. You know, by the time you got to Black Temple, um, a lot of players didn't necessarily know who this guy was or what his lore was, so yeah, we definitely learned our lesson with Wrath of the Lich King, and uh, Alex and his team pretty much put the Lich King, like, I, I think, like, right off the bat at, like, level 70, you know. He's kind of in your face and taunting you, and, you know, throughout the process of that expansion, he's just uh, kind of ever-present. Um, so by the time you guys finally face him at the pinnacle of Ice Crown Citadel, uh, you're going to know who this bad guy is, and you're going to have a personal reason to want to kick his ass. Uh, so with Deathwing, uh, many of you... Thank you. So a lot of players, especially uh, you know, this kind of new generation of WoW players, uh, you guys haven't necessarily seen this guy before. Um, Deathwing debuted in the Warcraft 2 expansion set Beyond the Dark Portal many, many moons ago. And uh, Deathwing is one of five dragon aspects. Uh, there are five dragon flights, so well, well come on, you guys know. And, uh, the dragon flights were empowered long ago to kind of protect the world of Azeroth from any, you know, uh, threats uh, that might arise. And Deathwing was the uh, Earth Warder. His charge was to uh, uh, protect the realm of Earth. Um, the black dragon flights, you know, are empowered by like fire and magma and the power of the Earth. Uh, and about 10,000 years ago, during the War of the Ancients, when the Burning Legion first attacked Azeroth, um, one of the things that happened during that era is that Deathwing, given his uh, proximity to the, the, the aspect of Earth, um, well, spends a lot of time within the Earth, or he used to. And given his proximity way deep down there, he heard the whispers of the old gods that are also chained beneath the world. And their whispers ultimately drove him uh, mad. And Deathwing, uh, his power unleashed, uh, you know, his fiery earthen power uh, began to rip him apart. So that over the ages, uh, his agents have to uh, seal and brand iron plates onto his hide to just hold them together because his malice and his power are so engulfing to him. Um, and over the ages, uh, Deathwing has had a single purpose, right, to subjugate all life on Azeroth in order to create a Day of the Dragon, right, an era where dragons rule supreme, where the other dragon flights are subservient to him and all mortal races uh, are pretty much crushed under his heel. Uh, not much has changed for this guy. He's a nutcase. Uh, and what has happened uh, in recent years is that the whispers of the old gods have gotten worse. Uh, the power of the old gods uh, as seen rising with Cthulhu and yogg -Saron. Uh There are more. Uh, their power has magnified Deathwing's power, you know, tenfold. He's a very, very powerful dude these days. And what has happened to spark the cataclysm is a Deathwing with his bachelor pad in the plane of Earth that we call Deep Home. Deathwing has awoken from his slumber and literally erupted into the world. 
and he is so powerful that his literal explosion into the physical plane of Azeroth is what has caused the cataclysm. Tidal waves, massive volcanic eruptions at a global level. Global level, was that a character in Robotech? Uh, global level, pardon me. Uh, you know, tsunamis, freak storms, uh, no part of the world has been left untouched. Uh, maybe Westfall, whatever, but... Because uh, <laughs> old Blanche is core. So once again, Deathwing's violent eruption into Azeroth uh, and his agents, which I'll let Alex talk about, uh, uh, coming out and, uh, you know, setting uh, apart their plan to help their master achieve his goals is what has broken the world. He is ever-present. Uh, he is the great enemy that must be dealt with uh, at this particular time in history. Uh, and I've had a brain fart. I don't remember what I was talking about. He's the world breaker. He is indeed the world breaker. So, a lot of story there, a lot of lore, uh, for those of you who are into that kind of thing. I love you. And uh, so uh, we felt that he would be a very compelling new bad guy or old bad guy. So, have I missed anything? No, you're good. Um, something to note is, is, is the heroes are, are busy in, in Northrend. This has kind of been plotting and planning for, I don't know, the last decade or so. Um, so we're, we're taken as heroes unawares somewhat. Um, when Deathwing breaches the world, as Chris is saying, he, he actually does something so, so massive that he actually brings up all of the elemental planes, or down in the case of Skywall. So that is going to be one of the, um, the big zone uh, draws to this expansion. It's going to be those elemental planes, which we'll see uh, in full glory. And just, just as a point of reference, uh, many of you probably hadn't heard of our elemental planes. Um, we talked about them a little bit in the RPG products we put out a number of years ago. Um, but there are four planes that the Titans created uh, you know, millions of years ago to contain the elementals, which in the primordial prehistory of the world reigned over Azeroth. Um, back when things were still forming, the elementals were it. And so the Titans, in an interest to shape the world to their liking and bring order to this you know, nascent planet, uh, they lock the elementals away. And so the elementals have been pretty pissed, uh, as seen by characters like Ragnaros, right, who, you know, uh, definitely uh, wanted to get vengeance on the world and those who had uh, imprisoned him. So the reemergence of the elemental planes is a, is a big component of this storyline because now that they're all loosed in the world again, they're not entirely happy about having been locked up all that time anyway. So they're warring with each other, they're warring with the native kingdoms of Azeroth, and there's uh, plenty of calamity to go around. Indeed. All right, let's uh, move on. Let's shift gears here. Some pretty pictures. So these are just some visions, uh, concept art, uh, that we'd be putting together. Um, while not all of these areas will be built one-to-one, -one, we just wanted to get out ahead of it conceptually and just kind of charge forth and see what kind of ideas, you know, we would, you know, percolate in anticipation of the expansion set. So, this thing's packed with art. Worgen. Worgen, Chris. You want to do it? No, please, please. Uh, where, 